No. <laughs> <laughs> It's not as close. Well, there's uh, I know where there's 16,000 bucks that we can use to select my service. What? I said I can see $16,000 that we can use. <laughs> and I'm sure there's another 11 that I can find someplace in. Need a little levity sometimes. Yes. Okay. Uh, we were uh, on. Uh, I, are we waiting for? Are we on? Yeah, I believe we're live. He said we were live as soon as we walked in here. So. Okay. So one forty. Five five fifty one ten fifty one ten. Yep. I only have one question. Sure. The last um, employee assistant town clerk, um, is that a recent hire? The new one. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was thinking you were talking to them. The one, yes. the one at the yes, bottom. Yes, yes, yes. And how long have they been here? Uh, let's see, a few months. So they automatically get a step increase in the She's been here since September. So by July, it'll be almost a year. Okay. Yeah. That, that was something, Carol, and the, the committee hit upon at least at least once once if not twice this year already was somewhere along the way it just doesn't make sense to us and I think we're probably unanimous in, in the thought not necessarily that we would vote for it but somebody comes in at this point and starts working for the town in let's say February come July they get a step increase right and I, I don't know I I've always gone by the understanding that if they were here less than six months they did not get that step increase yeah, right. but that's that's so i think the personnel should, should look at that as a policy and, right and the other one was why doesn't it make sense to say look if you you were here on uh, october 30 30th then your anniversary date is october 30th and the pay increase will take effect the next October 30th. Well, our budget I is set up July. Right. And, and I, well, that's I know. But I think we're in a position where we can, the, it's not beyond our capability to do that. Uh, well, but it's a lot of extra work. No, I was going to say, yeah, I, it, it adds well, a lot. I'm scratching my head a little bit. I think if they come up with, personnel come up with a policy Everybody, on everybody how else in the world does that. Other, I mean, I realize it. Yep, it's they a all have yeah. um, payroll departments. But <laughs> as Barbara said, she will be here <laughs> so we, over six months by the time this one goes into effect. Yeah. No, that's fine. I, I, I don't think anybody, yeah, September's one thing. But. Yeah. I think we should have a formal policy, I guess, mm -hmm. is what. Yep. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I don't think anybody has a problem with that. No. Um, and so we'll work with the personnel committee to have, to formalize our informal policy because mm -hmm. right. I, I think our informal policy of Barb went through some of our policies and yeah. um, it's mm -hmm. been very helpful in that so <clears throat> okay so I get my two cents worth of, <laughs> it's worth that much <laughs> maybe it's not worth that much uh, all right so if somebody wants to make a motion or not on the uh, clerk treasurer's collector salary budget I'll make the motion that we accept the budget for the clerk treasurer collector salaries of 160324 Is there a second? I'll second it so the motion's out there. Uh, any further discussion? Yeah, I'd like to comment. I think that 6.89% sure. increases are too high we can't afford at the time we can't afford to continue to do that but we're talking overall um, that's I guess on the auspices of this committee maybe approximately 20 people and there's teachers and police department that are getting raises of 2% coal approximately 2% coal approximately 5% step increases and it wouldn't be fair to the non-teachers and non-police department employees not to get a similar increase. 
But again, I don't think the town can afford it, but in fairness, everybody should get it. That's my opinion. Anyone else? Yeah, I kind of concur with that. I'm, I'm uh, struggling with this. As far as the new uh, compensation schedule, uh, but once again, we're talking about a small number here in comparison to the schools and the police department, especially the schools. And uh, I think the, the model is, the compensation package is based on the school model. And uh, I just feel that hopefully at some point in time this whole thing can be addressed because I don't know if taxpayers can continue to afford this. And I think we need to have a good solid discussion at about this issue. And at the same time, uh, I don't think that the small number of town employees should be footing the bill for let's just say a little indiscretion here as far as town salaries go. So uh, with that said, I would like to see hopefully some people address this on the town floor. If uh, you know voters think this is a little overdone, they have an opportunity on the town floor to either support it or vote it down. And so that's where I'm going to leave it on the town floor. That's all I have to say. Would it, would it make some sense, and I don't know when we would do this, but would it make sense to, for the various boards in town, select board, finance committee, school committee, perhaps in the fall, before, before budgets, before we get to this point where there's at least some sort of a you know, crunch time that we need to get through some things, that we could actually sit down with the personnel committee primarily and then sit and talk about salaries and and I don't know what we would accomplish but I think <clears throat> I think that's a very good idea in fact I suggested that for a number of uh, several years now of getting everybody together the players together mm -hmm. as far as the committees and actually have a good open honest discussion about this because obviously uh, with the town budget, if you look at that, it just keeps cr increasing. We hear, we hear people say, oh, well, you know, we're, we're staying under the 2.5% and, and so on and so forth. Well, that's not really true. If you, look at, if you look at real dollars, just look at your property taxes. And if you look at your property taxes, they did not go up 2.5%. I think you'll find that it's closer to 5%. It was, it was above 4 and less right. than 5 Right, and it's been roughly about five, some years higher, a few years back, it was eight and a quarter percent. Now, when you look at that, and I'll give you an example, last four years, my, my taxes have gone up $1,000, a little over $1,000 in, in that four-year period. You're getting to a point where I think some taxpayers in town here cannot sustain that type of increase. And are we going to be at a point where we start forcing some of our people, especially the elderly, forcing them to sell their houses and move out of town because they can't afford to stay here? And that, and that bothers me. So that's a whole other issue, a whole other subject. But I just, after speaking about this as a group, I just don't think that... Uh, the number of town employees and the dollars that we're talking about uh, should bear the burden. I think it's unfair. So, Brenda? Can I just address uh, a comment that you made in regards to the eight and a quarter percent? It was actually 9.08 percent. 9.08. Okay. And the reason Thank you why, for the correction. yep, the reason why was that was the year that we took on the garage debt. And if I right. remember right, the garage debt that year was the, the uh, double pay down was 500 and some thousand. Right. I, I don't know the exact well, number. And, and I'm glad but, you. But that was something that the town voted to do right. uh, was the debt exclusive. Well, I, so and I, and I think. I think there's a lot of people that uh, 
kind of regretted voting for that after the fact when they saw their taxes. But I guess that's another concern that I have because we have several big money items coming down the line for this town. And I just want people to be aware that uh, there's, there's some big ticket items. I mean, we see it. The senior center is, you know, the, the uh, sewer. Library. And uh, let's see, there's several other. The library, so on and so forth. I mean, there's several large, large projects. So just to make people aware. Sorry. No, sorry. Bruce? Um, I was just going to comment on the request of the selectmen to make all departments come in with a level funded budget. And if this is what we consider a level funded or level, level services, service, level level service, service. Budget, then we can expect an annual increase in salaries of anywhere from 5 to 7% yearly. And that's just a statement I'd like to make. That's all. I was just going to and point out. If we out have to increase, increase staff, if we have to increase the service requirements, that's going to be over and above our level service budget. <coughs> so it's it just we need to look at that. That's all. Well, I, I, I just wanted to point out um, Barbara's office went without um, full staff for a while, and um, they had extra work. So there was actually a decrease in the salary. So this year, the person, um, Jen, was hired. She was at a step two and versus a step one. Mm -hmm. And um, so her full year would actually be um, a higher amount, um, considering from last year it was a step one and it was empty. So part of the increase you're seeing is that the salary wasn't, that was allocated really wasn't used, and that to get the caliber of help that she needed, she actually didn't start at step one. She had to start at step two. No, she started. No, she step started at step, step one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh I'm step, sorry. Step two. Right. Oh, I'm step sorry. Two I but so but to your point, so. this, if you look back at um, 2013 I and that. forward, I mean, this this department has been level serviced for for years. Right. If you compare the uh, 2013 to 2019. Um, Budget, I you know I didn't do the math, but I'm just saying this is a very yeah. I, I was going to point out this is really a stable. A this is extremely stable responsibilities, budget. not decreased responsibilities. But you've been understaffed so. for the last four years. Right. Well, but if, if you go by back, one person, take a look at the total. That's the reason for the difference. What we've been appropriating. Take, has, take a look at the total appropriated at the bottom of the page. I am, but you look at the number of people. So we start no. We, yes. We've had this, that, the same. that school, it's been the same number of people. Mm -hmm. We have been missing for the past two years. We've w been people in and out, so it hasn't been fully staffed. Right. But, you know, in 2013, it was fully staffed. It was fully staffed in 2014. It was fully staffed in 2015. I believe it was fully staffed in 2016. Uh, and I'm not, you know, I think... 2017 was the year that we started the, but if you look at 2014, where you've got all figures, we go for $153,000 to the to next year of $160,000. That's $7,000. That's what happens when you have people who are sitting at a top step. They leave and they're replaced by somebody coming in at a bottom step. So. And seven thousand dollar increase over what five years? One, two, three, four, five, six years. Or you go to the next one; it's one forty-three to one sixty. But that's seventeen thousand dollars over five years. So these are not these are not budgets that are increasing in general by six or seven. It does happen that this <coughs> one it's going up ten thousand dollars from two thousand eighteen to two thousand nineteen. And we'll see it again that's the, next year. Mm -hmm. That's the large, well, we will see where, where it is. That's my uh, point. Can and, I call them while a question? This, while this one may be going up, mm -hmm. there may be another one that's also going up, but someplace in there, there are budgets that are, that are not going up by that 6%. So, is there any more discussion on this? No. 
If there is no more discussion and we're prepared to take a vote, all those in favor of uh, the budget of a, for clerk, treasurer, collector of salary, yeah, whatever it is, $160,324. Everyone in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions. I'm abstaining. I'll abstain. Bruce, I didn't know where you voted in that. I vote. voted yes. Okay. Four zero one. Yes. What What's next here? One forty five fifty. The next one. Fifty four ten. Four ten. <clears throat> make a motion. We approve it. This is expenses. Uh, I I would like to have uh, Barb explain the sure. because this one is a heavy, pretty hefty increase. Well, it uh, sits with the, right the Gatsby report that we're required yeah. to do by any oh, um, every other <laughs> biannually, biannually. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> Twice every two years. <laughs> I will draw my motion. I didn't see the new sheet. <laughs> is that a percentage? <laughs> Is that a percentage or? What's that? The 6,000? The 6,000 is what our um, actuarial 6, costs sheet? will be for the Gatsby report. Okay. We have to do it every yeah, year, other year now. Oh, there is a new sheet. Um, oh, updates. Okay. It used to be every three years. So um, without that, um, there's little increase. I think um, I had to increase for uh, postage. I made a little note down there for the explanations. Yep. It's a $600 um, increase. On the the payroll processing, yep. Um, it was, it was um, at 2%, or just a hair under 2% without the $6,000. So, any discussion? No, There's I'll make a been, motion for it. No, I, I, yeah, discussion. And second? It's moved and seconded. Who's second? You, you want to make a point? discussion? There's only been... Through December, only uh, approximately 7,000 spent. Yes, it'll come. <laughs> it will? Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a quiet time of year for um, collecting. So now we've done all of our bills, we've done all our postage. Everything's going to happen in the last six okay, months that of that. Um, right. so, who who seconded yeah. the motion? You second I, I motion. I, you made it. Right, I made it. Second. Who seconded it? Uh, I will. Bruce. I thought Bruce did. No. No. <laughs> Mary. Mary. So if there's no further discussion, all those in favor, uh, treasurer, collector expense, 34575. Aye. Aye. Is that unanimous? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Uh, so the next budget is 161 We're not doing legal expenses? Not yet. Okay. Um, because we're working on five budgets first. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so she's gone. <laughs> oh, come on. You've been here a long time. You might as well stay until the end. Uh, town clerk expense. Yep. Um, Number? Uh, 161 This one is the one that um, varies largely based on how many elections I'm going to have. Um, you can kind of follow that along, um, that line item, um, and see it reflected when I'm going to have one election, like this year, or 19, I'm going to have three. Uh, other than that, um, not too much has changed. The street listing and that kind of thing um, has to do with um, the amount of postage and... and uh, mm -hmm. um, I increased just a little bit in the um, meetings. Yep. Um, now that I have a new uh, assistant town clerk who's um, eager to participate in those kind of things, I think she'd like to go to, uh, they have a conference in Springfield. And so I factored in a, a, a couple hundred dollars there for training. So Other than that. Um, those are excellent expenses to go to the training or yeah, the expenses they're, they're, to pay the wage for the training? Oh, no, to go to the trainings, to attend, like uh, registrations <laughs> or mileage or, or um, whatever, whatever the cost is to okay. go to those. I thought I heard somewhere that the state is going to be sending some money to towns to help reimburse for the early voting, if you... Yeah, yeah. Is that... 
you hear any more about that or when we're going well, to get it or how much it might be? Right. Ours is supposed to be, I think, $600. Oh. Um, I know. We got a $400. A lot of those reimbursements, too, I can't reflect in my budget because we have to budget for it, and then it goes um, not necessarily towards comes in, the It comes in a cherry sheet. It's not a whole lot of money. It's not. It, um, they really, uh, it was hard in our department to reflect the impact that that early voting had just because we have the three of us, and we didn't really hire new staff to come in. We just kind of all focused on the mm -hmm. early voting rather than some of the other tasks that we normally do. So... Um, so they didn't allow you to get reimbursed for regular employees, only if you hired new employees. Oh, okay. And I'm like, here I was being frugal, <laughs> we're being penalized. So yeah, right. anyway, we'll, I guess we'll iron it all out once they get those kind of, um, you know, policies in place. It, that was very new last year, and um, they're talking about early voting for the state primary, which, anyway, we won't get into that. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Sure. Um, they're talking about same-day registration. What's what's the impact of that? On well, um, it's just what you just said. They're talking about it. I have no idea what that would cause or influence on what I would have to do for, um, you know, employees or that kind of thing. It's hard to say. All these great policies land on us over and over mm -hmm. and over yeah. again. Mm. Yeah, the early voting would... Uh, it was like having an election for two solid weeks. It, the impact was... Exhausting. <laughs> well, it doesn't. It doesn't take much. You get ten yeah. or twenty people during the day coming in and wanting we to had vote. Thirteen hundred early voted ballots. But you have to stop what you're doing and handle exactly. that. And all three of us did that to just kind of, and, and even so, I ended up having to call in Mary and somebody else on the last day because it was like, wow. It's a anyway. lot. It's very disruptive. Any any more discussion? I move okay. that we accept the twenty one. 750. Town color expense 21750. It's been moved. Is there a second? No second. Moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? 5 0. Yes. 0. Okay. Uh, next, which one do we want to take so next? The, so the next one of uh, Barb's is, yeah. in, is in your tab 5. Yeah. It's Veterans Benefits, 543-5410. Right, Mark? Yes. Yep. Um, this is when we have a veteran move to town. Um, the benefits do them are paid by us. And it's been, um, the last couple of years, very consistent. Um, sometimes you see people come go, people come go, but it's been pretty consistent over the last couple of years. You know, where, whatever. They could move out. Someone else could move in. Where does the number come Who from? Who knows? Um, the Just Veterans it. Administration apparently assesses what their benefits are. I'm not really sure. If that's for the county or? No. Is that's, that for, for that's for the state? It's for the town, town. residents it, who no, are the, eligible the for these the, benefits. We're part of the Greenfield the Pioneer Valley. Yeah, so that's um, where you get the information Emergency from. services, correct. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I mean, veteran services. Yeah. <laughs> The yeah. average spending has been twenty five, twenty six thousand. Yeah, so I have thirty in there. I mean I'm just thinking maybe we get a chance to reduce the budget by four thousand, that's all. If it's worth it. Yeah, you never know what lot. it's gonna be though. Hmm? You never know what it's well, gonna be. We never know what anything's gonna no. be no. for that matter. Well this is really arbitrary. I mean someone could just move to town and um, suddenly it could be uh, forty thousand. <laughs> yeah. Or someone could live here and become eligible. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. already live here, but then they yeah, yeah. fall into the category of eligible for, for this kind of benefit yeah. program. Um, but it, it would it's up to you, if, you know, however you want to have the budget. They are reimbursing us a little bit faster than they used to. The buck? Mm -hmm. The state is this being is a reimbursement. Mm -hmm. it's, on, yeah. it's on the cherry sheet, isn't it? Yeah. It's a veterans uh, line. But, the, yes. but they but for a while there we had <clears throat> we were there was a huge lag, so we were mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Having to fund, <coughs> we were not only fun, funding up front, but then we were the reimbursement was very slow. Mm -hmm. But now it's it's yeah. pretty much caught up. Mm -hmm. They have, yeah. You get them, yeah, it's pretty yeah. good. Mm -hmm. yeah. so it used to be like three months before you saw anything. Or even and sometimes they were a year it's late. So it's, a match. it's monthly state yeah. aid now. So is it a match? Yeah. Twenty five seventy five, I think. Yeah, it's okay. seventy only seventy five percent reimbursement. I wouldn't think of it as a match. Though. 
<laughs> no, no, it's 75 percent reimbursement. Yeah. We, they reimburse at 75 percent of the cost. We pay 25. Mm -hmm. But we were carrying we up front it. the other 75. Though. Yes, but yeah. correct. But we, we were it. we were carrying it for some. I mean, for a while there, it was over a year. Okay. It was very low for many years, and then the Iraq War started, and it went skyrocketed. And uh, these tiny towns had thousands of dollars of benefits. It, that yeah. They were had to pay. So it, it, it was hard. It's just gone up. In the last okay. Could I have could I have a motion? I move thirty thousand for the veterans' benefits. Is there a second? I'll second. If there's no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Five zero zero. Next. Okay. Yes, you guys already did all my debt. Um, we did. We did. We did the debt. So we're in tab eight. Um, but it's mm -hmm. it's the first one is nine twelve fifty four hundred because the eights and the nines are together. Yeah, workers' okay. compensation. Yep. So we're not That's doing the unfunded sick leave. We did that one a long time ago. We did. You did? Yeah. It's in okay. your tab it's eight. Together. It's it's eight. the number so is nine yep. nine twelve, correct. I did hand those out tonight. Okay. Nine twelve fifty four hundred. Yeah. Yes. Um, this one I do it's a, uh, just really a straight calculation for me is how I do it and I add um two percent um for a general payroll increase or general increase. So um, I take the calendar year payroll for 17, use the workers' comp um, rate factors for each department, <clears throat> and um, figure out the salaries, and, and then add 2%. And so that's how I come up with this. Um, totals. OK. Um, I can. I made copies for out? anybody who wants to look at them. <laughs> Does anybody want to see your calculations? Mm -hmm. Overall, a claim. So we have a pretty good experience with workers' comp. Is um, our safety program possible, good? So. I oh, yeah. think so. I think we go in spurts sometimes with, um, I, honestly, a year or two ago, I, I had a lot of school claims, a lot of falling, a lot of. Um, Injuries in the um, special ed departments. Um, teachers were being injured um, by students. Actually, um, I will say uh, for for us and for the teachers that it's been a quiet year so far. So it's probably the thing. I imagine a large part of the expenses attributed to the police and highway department. They're not covered. Right? Yeah, police? the um, they're not police covered. Police aren't workers' oh, no. compensation. They're not. No, it's another. It's another. Program. Right. Right. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do, that. by the way, have a safety program. We get our insurance through Maya, the Mass yep. Central Local okay. Insurance, and we get they give us trainings. They're yep. doing a safety audit of buildings tomorrow. Very safety conscious. Yes. To answer your question, mm -hmm. John. So, so, if you notice, the uh, the most expensive one in there uh, is South County EMS. By virtue of their yeah. By virtue High risk of job. the work that they do. Right. Correct. Yeah. And the rating of the position. Yes. Yeah. And, we're, yeah. and we're hoping to have um, a better. Um, uh, claims history based on the fact that we had the we funded the power um, cots cots last right. last mm -hmm. couple of years, so um, any kind of injury should be um, mm -hmm. really reduced, and that was the purpose of, of the investment. Of the cot, cot. Yes, I will say the last um, audit or two, I don't think we've been penalized. You know, sometimes they adjust us and mm -hmm. make us pay it extra mm -hmm. something, but. Um, you haven't had that. Yeah, and Barb routinely talks to department heads, you know, sends send out a it. message reminding mm -hmm. people, you yeah. know, should something happen. We have to sort of remind people this isn't for visitors mm -hmm. who fall down. This is just for employees and, mm -hmm. you know, but fortunately we don't have visitors falling down. <laughs> sure. Bruce? Um, skims, do they get a line item budget for workman's comp? Yes. Yes. Well, yes. So yeah, they'll pay that thirty-one thousand, mm -hmm. which is what she's deducted out of there as their share. Yeah, I got it. Okay, as we're estimating yep, that that to be their share. And no, and the offset for South County Senior Center? No, the, oh, there is no pretty offset pretty cool. for them because okay. they're so basically considered office clerical. There's no yep. way to break them out. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. I just saw it. That was. 
about schools? Um, yep, they're in there. Well, they're, but there's no offset. Is there any reason that we can't put that as as along with health insurance and unemployment? Yes. Yes. <laughs> is that a you know, if you Mm -hmm. If you see any problem with doing that, say so. I, I, I think she that makes anyway. sense. As to break, yes. break it out within our, break it our out. own budget. Yep. Yeah, and then, and then show it uh, on the town, uh, the town meeting. Okay, so you, you want a separate line item for Just their... Just like we're doing with health insurance. Yeah. Well, we're not, we're not doing a separate line item, voting it as a separate line item at I, town meeting. That's, that's the way we talked about it yesterday. Uh -huh. oh, okay. I want, I'd like to. Is there some reason that we can't? It's, I think, it's, what, yeah, I don't forget why the challenge I, is. It, mostly it's so that people can see it. I'm not suggesting right. that we're trying to... I don't know... Um, I don't know. I think it needs to be a bit stronger than that, but I don't know. Well, but <laughs> what do you mean? if we don't show it, right. it's like okay. I mean, they don't see the well, offsets. People aren't aware of it, right? I mean, the problem is that Tom meeting we don't see the offsets; we see the number. Mm -hmm. We don't know what <clears throat> made up that number. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, how do we do that? Mm -hmm. if we if we well, had an this, offset to this line item. That's fine, and it just gets moved over to someplace else. Um, actually. Um, at the MMA conference, um, one of the things that was um, really impressed me was they have these, this new software. It's called VisualWorks or whatever, and it does all these kind of um, graphs and charts. Um, and we could look into that and show of, like, say, the workers' comp. This is what we've been paying on a municipal level. This is what the school costs, mm -hmm. and here's your total. So you, know, you see the percentages as they're... And, you know that kind of thing because you can just can it, do you just take your data and you put it in and it and it visually shows you how to present it so um trevor and i were looking at it and we were like wow this is really what we need i think we, you can we do, we can do, that do that it already with too yep. yeah okay. we've already got it. well we discussed is, it um last year at our finance committee meeting that this should be part of a presentation well um to the, to you know what why don't we when we have an information night we will work on these charts and break it out so people have an understanding and then we can have them as handouts for a town meeting okay um would that be possible we could do that i really would like to unless unless it's just not unless it can't be done by law i would really like to see those I don't know if I'm the only one. I would like to see those at, in that town where it says education and then the schools with the numbers and, the, and then below that are those offsets so that uh, they're there because we've talked about asking the schools to take the responsibility for them, not to cut their budget by them, but to take the responsibility for them. Well, I, I, think I agree are, with Skip. People are just not aware of that, you know, they have a, a line mm -hmm. item for the school, and they mm -hmm. just think, well, that's all it is for the school. There's, there's over a million dollars that the town of Deerfield pays for their expenses in addition to that line item. And, and the town? I know. Everyone has... They, Maybe, it, it, should be, it should be noted. Maybe we can Maybe do that we as a chart. Stand up. Maybe we can do that as a, a pie chart or something like that. A project? A pie, pie chart. chart. Oh, pie chart, yes. Yeah, which would show total budget, then um, add everything up, then take out what they're asking for and show the additional offsets. I, I've, I've been gathering ever since, you know, the last three years, I've been gathering all of this information. Um, and we should present month. it. Uh -huh. We yeah. should present it then. Um, I'll, I'll give you this. We're jumping ahead a little, but we're kind of touching on it right now. It's just um, how I come up with the group insurance um, Thank you. budget. And it's um, using that information that I've been gathering about um, health insurance costs by department, by town, school. And so I have it separated here by town and school. Thank you. That's my motion. Do I have one too, Barbara? I'm sorry. That's okay. You did. But that's okay. So you, you don't have any you were coming to the party. Uh, I plan to refer to this when we talk about group insurance, which yep. I'm sure is coming okay. up. Okay. <clears throat> um, but at the top, 
um, under town, you'll see it says uh, that those numbers are referring to uh, retirees. Um, and so the town's expense for retirees is 79.5, if you will, round it up. Mm -hmm. And then the active employees is the next group of numbers. Before we do this, can we just go ahead and vote yeah. this Absolutely. workers' yeah. council? Right. So, so but, but let me ask a question yeah. first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want to see on town meeting floor a breakout of the workers' comp one line item for the town and one line item, item for the school? Because if you do, then we have to vote this differently. We'll have to. I think they're looking for some sort we, of report. I, or I do, but we can go back and do that. We can go back and do that later. Okay. I would like, just want to make sure. I'd just like to see this costs associated with mm -hmm. the, each department mm -hmm. I mean, shown on town meeting floor. The fringe benefits of the town much. Yeah. that's on the towns. Um, okay. Just to give you a heads up, some of our departments say like the assessor's department is so small uh, that you, yeah, as yeah, your HIPAA, yeah. you HIPAA, you would not no, be able to. Just do the total for the town. We've talked School about taking town. everybody School down town. here and okay. putting town. them into Don't one group. I'm yes. sorry, I thought yes. Bruce said by department. I did. He right. did. did. But, yeah. but, but I think it that. needs to be maybe where we have an offset, it needs to be split out. Oh, it is. Yeah. 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 Just by town employees, though. Okay. But there are some yeah. town employees that are considered so what offsets. Number, what number do you want us to vote? Do you want us to vote the 91.833 and then the no, offsets the, the, or 55.981? The 55.981 55, 981. 55, because okay. that's what's going to hit the general fund. Okay. Right. And the other two are going to be in their own their budgets. Own budget. Correct. Yeah. I'll move the 55981 and workman's compensation, workers' compensation. We've got a motion. Is there a second? Second. That there's a motion and a second. There's no further discussion. All those in favor of workman's comp, 55981. Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions, 500. Zero, zero. Okay. Um, can I comment, even though we voted? Here's another. The, the high wages that we're paying is also reflected here in workers' comp. Yep. Yeah. The what? So it's not just the wage. A wage increases reflected are reflected in workman's comp calculations. Uh, I guess unemployment would be next. Um, 913 <laughs> Here we are. That's so you've much. got 13000 for insurance costs and 2000 for management fee? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Yeah. And what the management Sorry. fee is, they, they handle they the do. unemployment insurance. They handle, right, um, dealing Client. with the state unemployment office, any kind of um, claims we have. Well, I was going to ask if they handle the claims or when we when someone is mm -hmm. laid off. They go to court for us. Okay. Everything, yeah. Okay. As well as providing um, kind of technical, if you will, or expertise mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. advice with particular six payroll six situations six or yeah. something like that. We still um, need that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I assume you think it's worth the $2,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, absolutely. Any questions? Yeah. We've been consistently over budget year after well, year. Well, it's, 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 yeah, it's kind of gone. It's gone like this. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. It's, but there's only one year we were under budget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not yeah. happening on the municipal side. Yeah. What do you mean? Again, we don't have. Unemployment. Uh, we're we're not laying off people. We don't lay off. <laughs> we're not laying off people. Nothing has happened. Right. We're not firing people. Yeah. If somebody does leave the town position, are they able to collect unemployment? Insurance? Depends how they leave. Mm -hmm. If they, we've had two people leave, they chose to leave. They're right. not eligible they for They're unemployment. Not eligible. Yeah. We we didn't lay them off because we didn't have a big well, have military contract. <laughs> you have to get unemployment. No, you don't. Most of the unemployment claims are on the school side. Yeah. Understood. Okay. Any I'll further? move the fifteen thousand for unemployment insurance. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's moved, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll abstain. Opposed? Zero. Abstention, so 401. Is that? Yep. Okay. Uh, group insurance next? Up and down. Okay. Here okay. we go. 914, 5400. And 
Is that what this is? Yes. Okay, so we've got this to discuss. Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need an explanation on this. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. <laughs> so, um, 914 to It's a new package. Um, it's a new number. Mm -hmm. So um, our office um, keeps an Excel spreadsheet with every um, health insurance plan and we update it every month. So when I'm asked to produce my budget, I take it from the most recent completed month back 12 months. So the data that you're looking at here is from January 17, mm -hmm. um, January to December 17. December of 17 was the last completed month that I had to refer to. So calendar year 17. Correct. Um, the year before I did it, March to March, I guess we did the budget later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so the, as I was saying, the top part um, are town employees. The first section refers to re retired town employees, um, the 50%. cost of the policies, and then the town expenses is 79.5 followed by active employees um, with the town's expense at 220,009. And then the next group is school um, retirees and then um, active, um, 75, eight and 550. Um, I mentioned um, offsets that I do receive from, I bill the other towns for shared employee, shared teachers and we bill uh, South County EMS and wastewater treatment plant on the town side. So those are the offsets you see. 68.9 on the town side and 23.8 on the school side. So given those, um, down below, it should say FY19 budgets. Um, I didn't update. Nope. Um, so the budget number's right. <laughs> so, the so now I'm gonna anticipate going forward. So I take the most recent month, December, and I multiply it by 12, just to carry it into the next year. Mm -hmm. um, for retired and active, and come up with that um, anticipated town expense. Um, the plan uh, increases, uh, not for Medicare, because that starts in January, so just active employees that we will have a change in the rate in July. Um, so I factored in the rate increase for the, the plans. Um, I don't know if I brought that change. I might have, I can get that to you. And then um, I usually do a, a 2% um, just as a fluctuation that never stays the same, always seems to increase. So 2% and um, the same offsets with a 3.5% um, increase to reflect the plan cost increase. So I did the same thing with the school. The school actually, um, I uh, did 4% as a fluctuation instead of two because it's just realistic. Say that again. So um, when I go from one budget to the next, I expect a 2% increase just to, um, to go into the next year. But on the school's numbers, I did 4% because it's just more realistic than 2%. Because you're anticipating more employees. It, so. it just changes, yeah, yeah. They okay. just um, okay. they just average a higher a higher increase. Oh, I did write it for you. Oh, yay. <laughs> so, um, so right over here, you'll see I made a note as to um, how many uh, HMO plans mm -hmm. we have for town employees. We have seven family, five employee plus one. Do you see where I'm talking about? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. 15 single, and then PPO, we have one family and two single. Um, I, I really just did out my calculations here so you know what I did. But so these are active. Look at the same information down below for school. Active employees, though. What's that? These yeah, are active, active employees. Yep. Yeah, yeah. um, they have 22 family plans, eight employee plus one. Uh, now, an employee plus one is about $1,500. Um, a family plan is probably almost $1,800. Um, 19 singles, and they have five PPO families. That's almost $2,000 a month, and three singles. So, so let me go back. The, uh, under HMO, the family plan is, what's the total cost? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, I, mean, I might have brought it. Let me see. How much is it? Is seventeen forty nine? I know that one of them seventeen forty nine. I don't know which right. one it is. Right, and um, <laughs> so 
1749. I, I was going to say, it's, about, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, not, it's not worth uh, right. yeah. Right. guessing at. I'm just saying, whatever the family plan is, is 1750, the um, employee plus one is like 1490. It's very close to a family plan, so just to okay. keep that in mind. And, and the PPO the, is like 1970. It's just under 2000. So it's 200 to $250 a month more. Twenty four hundred to three thousand dollars a year more. More than than the HMO. Oh yeah. PPOs. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's and that's the total amount. That's for which we pay sixty five percent. And the employee Correct. pays mm -hmm. thirty five percent. Yes. Yeah. I just wanted to highlight, I mean if you just add it up, that's um, you know, thirty thirty five um, almost two thousand dollar group insurance plans per month. It's almost what? Um, on the school, that's 22 family plans oh. plus eight employee plus one. That's 30 and five family plans on the PPO. It's 35 $2,000 um, plans. Mm -hmm. per month. And 16. 24 single, or excuse yeah. me, mm -hmm. 20, 20, 22 two single. Yeah. 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 So and anyway, I broke it out so that I could do because um, the rate increase on the plans for next year, every single one of them is a little bit different. So I did break out the family to apply the family rate and the singles to come up with the, the rate increase. So anyway, you put all that together and um, that's how I came up with the anticipated combined budget. Question? Yeah. Um, so there's about 58 employees at the school that take in health insurance. So percentage-wise, there's more town employees that take health insurance. How do you figure? Just asking, because it looks like 12, 27. 30 people. 30 people, mm -hmm. we, town employees. Yeah. And we're saying that there's about 30 people that work for the town. We said 20 earlier, but this, probably close this, to this includes wastewater treatment yeah. plant okay. and, and EMS. Yeah. And, and, yeah. And, and, so. and the police. And, 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 police. And, police. and police? Yes. Okay. Oh, correct. Yeah. Yeah. So we're about equal then. It's, it's absolutely, yeah. Well, um, yeah, 80, but if you see 80, the cost of it is where... No, I understand the cost. Yeah. Yeah. Next question I, I have is, um, I understand that <clears throat> there was some plan changes. So Proposed plan changes in yep. health insurance. Yeah. Now, how does that affect our anticipated the plans? The um, there's some copays and deductibles. So there's not a switch in plans. No rate increase. Yes, and a rate increase. And a rate, a rate increase. Premium increase. Yes. Which you've accounted for. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And yes. It, that's why. That's why I split all the plans out so I yep. can figure out the different Each rate increases one. for all the different plans. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's what the three to four point seven percent increases. Yeah. Yeah. Or the rate increases for the plan rate increases. I wouldn't. I, 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 I didn't do too many. I think I handled oh. these out. Yeah. 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 I want. Uh, no. Give it up. Do you, does anyone want? What are those? No. Bar, no. Bar, what are those? It's the rate changes and the plan changes. Okay. Do you want them? Yeah. I think. It, I, have, I, I, I think it would be good to see. Like, I think yeah. we could I maybe think. take some examples and crank some numbers, but the the, the compensation plan may not. It may be a wash when you see. What's happening to the insurance? Uh, uh, Not just the 4.7, but the deductibles. Um, we are the same plans offered to the teachers as the town employees, yes. so that's equal. Yes. Okay. Um, it was elementary school. Elementary school. Yeah, yes. Not frontier. Yeah. Not, Not frontier. frontier. Although they're on the same thing as us as well. <laughs> They just and, have a different percentage. <laughs> and it's up to the employee to choose whether they want an HMO or a PPO right. or whatever. Yes. So we have no control over that. No. Has, well, have we question. looked at options um, changing our benefit package yeah. relative well, to health insurance? Let me uh, Go ahead. ask a question there because you brought it up. Mm -hmm. Do we have any control over the PPO? Could we say no to the PPOs? Well, the problem is you have students that are out of well, state. Well, the thing is, HMO um, restricts okay. someone to having a primary care in the New England state. Mm -hmm. So yes. if you have a college student in Florida or yeah. whatever, you know, so okay. they need a PPO. Yeah. Okay. They need a PPO um, for you, that. You wouldn't be able to, they wouldn't be able to have okay. anything but emergency care. Can we limit our reimbursement instead of 65 35 to 
65 or 65 percent of the HMO number. I think you, you would have to go through negotiations. You'd have to negotiate yeah. that. Yeah. With whom? With the union School and the police department. Well, yes. we probably need to have an insurance advisory committee of our own, which we may these, still have to do anyway. These are we startling don't. numbers, but yeah. we are very fortunate, honestly. Understood. We are very fortunate in the in the plans that we offer and the and the trust that um, the group insurance trust that we're associated with. Whereas yeah. we have a voice in how we decide to, um, they, they use capital in the last few years to kind of offset. Um, pharmaceuticals is really where the, um, yeah. the skyrocketing yeah. rates are yeah. coming from. I'm only asking because someplace yeah. along the way I know yeah. somebody's going to say, why are we paying more for one than somebody else? And it's like that was my point. Yeah, yeah, some communities do, some municipalities do charge, depending which plan you're on, you pay a different percentage than, yes. you know. No, that was, that was my point. Right. I've seen this many times. Yeah, you know, all things to think of as, as okay. the thing, yeah, I guess I calculated right. Thank you. Just, yeah, I ran out of paper and then I kept telling you. Is there any? I think it was just thinking. It's not. Yeah. You got the copay in dollars. What about as a percentage? You know, I go to the doctor and he does something to me. I get a colonoscopy and I have to pay. $30 out of my pocket right there, and then I get the explanation of benefits, and they want me to pay another 20% copay, coinsurance. Is you, there any of that? Or do we pay, is the plan paying 100% after yeah, the initial 20 bucks at the visit? Did, uh, I, I thought that's all outlined here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, see. I, I think everything's outlined. There's no, there's no such thing the that- Annual deductible, yeah, that yeah, type of thing. Yeah. Whatever. Co-pays or deductibles. The, the says just says deductible on the notations. Then it means those are the annual deductibles before you reach your. Yeah, you have to pay the hundred dollars mm -hmm. if or two hundred. For drugs, I'm talking. I'm not talking drugs. Well, I think I'm talking medical. Uh, well, uh, that would be a very complicated um, yeah. way to answer that question because the uh, HMO plan has um, no deductible, whereas the PPO plan has a deductible, but none of those kind of components have changed. Um, I just think it's a pretty lucrative plan from the employee's viewpoint. Mm -hmm. It's a whole, it's a they, they, they don't have a lot of incentive, the way I'm looking at it, mm -hmm. to be healthy. Because the, the plan's gonna pay for it. Oh, oh. well. Mm -hmm. Or a lot of it. Well. We have a very, very active wellness um, committee and component yep. to the Hampshire Insurance Group Trust. They, they have incentives constantly to go get a colonoscopy you mentioned. Um, they got a $50 gift card or something if they did that. I mean, they're very, very um, active in that kind of thing. They reimburse um, you for health club as, as or health club. I'm right. constantly sending out information that they send to me and I send to, to you know, to stop smoking. They have a, they come and do a wellness um, group things like a, a <coughs> cooking thing or they come and co have a, a wellness um a uh, fair we had where they people can come and have their blood pressure Medicare? taken and their you know you on so yeah. so wellness yeah. is a very important aspect it saves them money so you know we, we want to so, make the John, employees you're healthy. on Medicare right I am too you're on Medicare no, I'm not I'm, I'm on Medicare you're not, I'm, not, I'm not you're not 65 yet I'm on my spouse's <laughs> plan okay okay yeah we the the rest of us don't pay any co-payments that's correct if you just use Medicare if you use your supplemental, you pay a copay. You may, you may, yeah, depend on, depending depend on, on who you go to. Well, right. depending on your your supplemental. Right. I don't pay it on the supplemental either. We pay, this doesn't, I didn't notice, that was one of the questions, I didn't it's notice supplemental. That's in the retirement? Yeah. Yeah. That's just another, that's part of that original $79,000 mm -hmm. you pay? Yeah, retirees are, are in there. All There's no, um, I didn't note any price increase because Medicare um, rates don't change until January. Okay. So what I'm reflecting is a January to December, so it was all Actually, the rate. they all changed. Yeah, they all went up. They all went up to take, But that's already in there, yeah. To take whatever you, their annual, their COLA was, they took the COLA back and increased Medicare. Okay. okay. Or, or if they didn't do that, then. 
Jeff and I, oh. the three hundred ninety dollar raise that we got mm -hmm. you know, yeah. went to cover our. Right. <laughs> so we have a buyback program, whether if, it, if, it's, if, if somebody uh, goes to employee somebody, wants yeah. to go back on their spouse's plan. We had talked about that incentive, but we never actually put it together. Is that something that might incentivize employees to go to their spouse's plan and reduce our costs? <laughs> I doubt it. Know. If they're a better plan, plan. they're already on. We talked to personnel about yeah. various, various other options numbers. besides compensation that you know factor in, and that was one of the things. You would assume that if the spouse has a better plan, they're already on it. That's the assumption we're making. Fifty-seven. That can change at sure. <laughs> and it has, and we've seen people come and go. Right. right. Okay. All right. With some local businesses that incentivize people who were married to. Mm. Employees in town, and they ended up coming here mm. as a local business. Yes, incentivize them to. Okay. So it goes both ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Actually, it doesn't go this way. Yet. Mm. We also pay less than other towns. <coughs> Pays if you if you compare this insurance plan for what we're paying, it's a lot less than any of the other plans out there. And at one point, they tried to talk to us into going into the government plan, the GIC, and that has increased tremendously. They're paying very very large copays, and um, it it's starting to cost the towns a lot more money. Huh? This past yeah. year, they lost. Yes, three years that companies voting it. They're 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 they, they, they didn't uh, leave. They were kicked out. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they were kicked out. Yeah. The option they're voting. They're, they're, they're back in, I think. About Talks. us being part of this um, group is we are a pool of I, I don't know what is there like sixty five or sixty eight mm. other um, towns and districts. districts or what have you. So we have kind of this big pool. Where, where we don't feel a big dip in raise from year to year in rates. Well, while it's a, it is an increase, um, we, we asked Maya for um, how their plans go, and, and I asked them for a 10-year history on the rate increase, and it was anywhere, what was it, 5 to 15% every year. So I said, all right, so down the middle, <laughs> Someone could have been 10% every year, yeah. or you could be five one year and 15 the next year. Um, and so we went four any, years without no, with no you increase. Have, you don't have any control where you get huge spikes, where, where it's nice that we get to vote and decide if we want to use capital and kind of try and like keep it as level as possible. Years ago, Mary and I uh, had, were on the committee with um, Janet Uden as a insur little insurance committee trying to, to deal with the huge increases, and it was our decision to stick with the Hampshire, or our recommendation to stick with the Hampshire Trust because it was local and we had um, very active participation like Mary and now Barbara where we really participate. And um, I was worried when the GIC first came out, as, as Mary alluded, that the, there was the history of opening it up, who was joining the pool, who was creating the pool and the pool was it was big but your members of the pool there was no incentive to keep uh, you know what are your losses what, how do you control your losses the you know participation in the wellness program all those things and um, so we recommended not to join and it was a very good decision and I think over the years the Hampshire Trust has really proven to be we, a we real good thing. We have yeah. people, other towns applying to become part of our, our group and they, they'll um, have an application process and they check their claim history and if their claim history is, is high we, we deny them. So um, we try and you know, maintain costs in all different um, avenues. This is another budget that needs to be um, broken out as some sort of pie chart relative to the discussion oh, this is oh, one absolutely. this is the one this that i the, thought we were going to yeah biggest one yeah on, on the well, retirement town probably meeting. too well, retirement we'll, also we'll, we'll try to get mm -hmm. um yeah. i certainly already have the data it's just i know that's what i'm saying yeah. the it's data is here we and already have all of it yeah. it's glowing it so. should help you with your opeb decision too yeah <laughs> We'll try to get okay, some Okay, any, any further discussion on the uh, group insurance? Uh, <clears throat> Where are we? 
I'll make a motion we approve it. Yeah, so we're approving $939,643. Mm-hmm. And that represents a 2% increase. Yeah. Um, is that a real 2% because we have all the other data? Well, um, quite honestly, I will say that I, I think I was maybe a little um, ambitious last year. And so I, I, I don't just do my budget um, mm -hmm. on what I budgeted last year. I do it on the actual cost. No, so I, I was able that. to adjust it. And uh, I don't think we're going to spend all of 18. Okay. So... I'll second the motion. It's moved and seconded. Okay. Any other comments or discussion on group insurance? There are none. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay. That's uh, unanimous. Five zero zero. We did the unemployment, didn't we? Or? Yeah, the next one would be, would be the Medicare, Medicare insurance, just the next next page. It's the, well, it's a new one we do <coughs> tonight then, right? It right. is another new one. <coughs> mm -hmm. The Medicare rates have not changed, have nope. they? So then this 10% increase represents a very substantial increase in the number of employees who are retired. It, it, it's, yeah, it's just a salary calculation. No, this is not retirement. No. Oh, this is all oh, the, the, the Medicare. This is Medicare. that, yeah. this is that one point yeah, one in the, in the salary. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I made a little note down below um, that uh, how, how I figured it. <laughs> Um, calendar year 17, 2617, that's the um, town um, payroll. Um, South County EMS, um, they build or they pay their own Medicare. Can I ask why that, why South County EMS is paying their own? Well, because um, I set up a separate payroll when they started, so, um, so it gets billed out um, separate. So I don't have to. I don't have to offset. So the payroll company is uh, mm -hmm. correct. We're actually we're cutting the check here. No. Uh, the payroll checks or the what's that? You're, yeah, you're cutting yes. the check. Yeah. You're you're cutting. And they pay a, sep it. a separate check for to Medicare for the the amount. It's paid well, electronically. It's, yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But uh, South County EMS. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't have to do any calculations. Bill. That's that's what's nice. It's mm -hmm. yeah, it's right there. I don't have to do an offset. Questions? So I just um, I just did a two percent increase up over the actual calendar year of salary. Um, mm -hmm. But we know that not to be true, right? Well, it works out. She's yeah, been doing it right along. That's right. Mm -hmm. Two percent is the cola. Yeah. Well, should be two percent plus five percent, or whatever it is, approximately. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's actually about three percent. Well, for the purposes of calculating whatever yep. people come go, whatever it it, ten, it, it tends to work tends out. It seems like it's pretty on. Pretty point. consistent <laughs> with dollar amounts, understood. Right. Yeah, just just um, again, just a way to forecast, I guess. Okay. Any further questions? Boy, it's a tough increase. I'll make a motion that we approve the 99,166. Seconded. It's moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Okay. Oh, yeah. <coughs> uh, okay. 5 0 And Medical Security uh, Act, there's nothing there. Yeah. Um, so, um, Brenda? The, no I, I visited with Terry Williams the no other way. day, our, D, our DLS uh, representative, and I asked him about this specific line item and why we had it, and he said, what is it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he said, so I've never heard of it. Yeah. He said, get rid of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm <laughs> proposing that we budget nothing. <laughs> Maybe you can explain yeah, well, it, it's, it's a federal. Yeah. That's why he doesn't know anything about it. Okay. okay, because other businesses have to pay this. I mean, um, oh. if you're employed, you know, non-municipal people sector. have to pay it. Okay. 
and they've always told us that we needed to leave a line item for that because eventually the state was going to figure out they needed to charge us also. But it is federal. Mm -hmm. okay. But maybe they'll charge us on the charge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, they never charge us, but they, they always said leave the $50 in there to hold the line. <clears throat> but he's right. Do we need to vote on it? No, it's zero. No. no, there's nothing there to vote on. Zero. No, I didn't, yeah, I didn't put it on. <clears throat> it's just a notation. Okay. Uh, okay, what else do we want to? I think that's it for Barb, unless anybody has any additional Thank thoughts. You. Ever. E except I was hoping that we oh, could just, while the Barbara's discussion. here, we could talk about OPEB for yeah. a little bit. Yeah. That's great that you said that. Um, <laughs> what a great segue. Yes. <laughs> I was a you two must Good. have talked earlier. No, I did. Barb and Carolyn. <laughs> I, um, you know, people ask me the same questions over and over, which is great. That's fine. Um, <laughs> That's, yeah, right. Yeah, we believe you. If you're a teacher, <laughs> you're that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I ran across the um, people ask me, why do we have What's to find your step? and what are some ideas of how we could Ooh, Barbara, watch out, you don't trip. So yep, she's, she's seen it. I ran across these uh, little ditties <laughs> um, that you might, I'm going to get you okay, one. Okay, that's fine. Sure. Um, these are a couple of um, funding policies. Um, this is the actuary company that we use. Um, but just to give you an idea, you know, some people do a flat amount, some people do a percentage, just some, some ideas to think about. Um, Can you mean to make a copy? Uh, no. I, okay. I, for some reason, thought I had no, we okay. kind of abstained as a, we voted against it. I thought we did too. We voted against the 25,000. Yep, thank you. I thought it might be you know, so straightforward. The most concerned. Well, the reason why I wanted to re, um, I had heard that you had voted down the 25,000 request, which um, truthfully is still a drop in the bucket. So um, the reason why I'm put forward, I, we had, I, I attended two workshops down at the MMA on this, and it really is um, serious. And the reason why it's serious, I mean, are, do, you, do you all know when Gatsby 75 goes into effect? Okay. It is. It is. July, it's July 1st of this past year, 17. And so what happens is this, our liability is going on our um, books. Okay. So this is really, really serious for us. And so we have to have a policy, even if we're not funding it really adequately, which 36,486 is not adequately. but. If we have a policy of 2% of free cash or something like that that's consistent, then that will look better on our audit letter. And, and, and I have to say, it's just, it's, we have to address this. And, and Barbara, mm -hmm. um, I mean, we can go back and forth on how much it is, but um, if, if we just had all the employees right now that are just retired, not one single more person retires, and they all die in 10 years. Not you, Mary, but all right. Say so they all die in 10 years. We still have over a million dollars worth of liability. And, and so, I mean, I'm just, I don't want to spend the night arguing how much our liability is, but I do want to argue that we have to have some kind of fiscal responsibility here of, of addressing this. And I just threw this out. Um, as the select board, we voted to move it forward. No one is happy about it. I mean, we don't want to spend money on it, but. It's out there, and one way to look at it is, as our budget is, you know, increases at two and a half percent. Well, these the the cost of insurance is is like this, and so what we're doing is is covering this gap of our retirees, the difference between the cost of insurance, which is your main benefit, and and where our operating budget is, because right now we cover it as we go. And, and, and our budgets are only increasing like this, and the health insurance is projected to be like this, unless something happens. But right now, that's the way it looks like. And so it, it is actually really serious that we come up with some decision of how we want to fund this, and that we vote that is our policy. And, and I would hope that we would have some discussion. I am not married to 2% of free cash. The reason why that sounded attractive to me is because if you don't have, a, we, we use free cash to cover our operating expense. 
and capital improvement and all that. So yeah. if you don't have any free cash, you don't, you're not adding anything. But if you have free cash, you have a policy of adding 2%. So, but I'm not, I'm not saying that that's yeah. the right way. Mm -hmm. So, Bar and Barbara has other ideas, um, but we've got to do something and we have to have some consistent policy that looks like we're doing something legitimate. Yes, I would say there are three things that we need to do to um, address OPEP. We need to um, create the OPEP fund, which we did a few years ago. We accepted that. We need to accept a declaration of trust, which says that these funds are dedicated to, you know, we're not going to get a hole in the roof and then use these funds. This is dedicated to retiree that's part of, health benefits. That's part of GAPS V75, Correct. which is new. And um, have we done part, that yet? No. Well, we're doing we're that at the annual town meeting. I have um, drafted something for them um, okay. the board for that. And then the third thing um, is a funding policy. Um, again, it it's not as much how much is being funded. The the most important thing is that we have a policy that we say, you know, Girl Scout honor. This is what we're going to do, even if it's ten thousand a year, twenty a year. 2%, whatever it is that we have um, said, we're going to have a policy of this. So those are the three fundamental things that um, they're looking to give us credit for or not demote us. Who is <laughs> they? Who is they? Well, right, right. Who? When you look at, when you go, um, bond when they do the rating, Moody's, the bond rating for, okay, the, for bond the towns and that kind of stuff. Yeah. I don't think there's anybody else though. On the um, page that I handed you, um, the 10 reasons on the back side of it, I copied that little paragraph because I think the last paragraph on that is very helpful in explaining um, a confusing kind of um, theory. So if we don't fund OPEB, all right, maybe I should start again. If we do fund OPEB, when the actuary guy comes, and he um, assesses how our assets might grow, he can allow up to like a 7% rate of return on our assets. If we um, don't have like a funding policy or that kind of thing, he might address it more like a 4%. If we don't fund at all and don't do anything, they allow a 2%. So you can see that our, whatever the number is, is largely affected by the percentage of what they, consider us, you know, to be growing at. So it's helpful to have those things, and I thought that last paragraph kind of said it most simply I've ever kind of seen it. <laughs> so. Is my understanding you can use OPED money to pay insurance? Absolutely, you can pay, uh, we could use it to offset um, our, our current. current. So insurance. why don't we take our current dollars that we're paying into the reti retirees and put that in OPEB. Well, you certainly, right. And then draw out of that account. Well, you, wouldn't, you, be, you wouldn't be growing an OPEB account. But, that, you, that, but that's you, not part of their requirements. No, no. It would be a policy. It'd be a policy, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of but it's kind of shifty. Well, it's no, there's not, we're not, I, we're, I don't mind. We can add $10,000 so we have a balance in the account. We're not helping ourselves, though, by putting away for a liability. I mean, I don't have any problem. Pay the liability. On I don't have any basis. problem paying our current mm -hmm. liabilities instead of carrying them on as an operating expense because they're only going to increase, right. is to funnel money in there and say, okay, mm -hmm. it's $80,000 plus 2% of free cash. Because what I'm, because, because then you can turn around and draw it out. But you have to have some, sh some way to contribute to lowering your unfunded liability that's, that's growing at a much faster pace. I think that's actually a brilliant idea, Bruce, so that it's off our books. So yeah. we take our, we take that $80,000 or in close to $80,000 and we put it in. $50,000. Well, whatever. Yeah, yeah, between the okay, two between the two groups. Yes. Eighty, seventy-five thousand. Okay, so we put put that in, but then we have to still add the additional, say, two percent of free cash or whatever on top of that. So we are actually addressing our unfunded liability well, for the future. We're always going to fund every year uh, that Bruce, liability. What, Let me. Okay. We are funding it every year. 
Right the now. Current, the right, current, current year. Yeah. And for the last, whatever, how long it's been in? Sure. 1703. Right. <laughs> so we fund it every year. So the problem is going to occur where we can't fund it anymore because of two and a half override. Is that well, the issue? Well, Barbara, as Barbara pointed out in, in an earlier discussion months ago to me, mm -hmm. is that we will have this unfunded liability of over a million dollars in 10 years from just where we are today. But we're going to be paying. But it's never going to have to be paid at once. $100,000 every never, year. It'll never have to be paid at once. We're never going to have to write a check for a million bucks. Right. So um, as an example, if we do have an unfunded liability of $1 million in 10 years, we've paid 75 or 80% of it already. Because we're paying it every year. Mm. It's not but unfunded. It, it's, the thing is, it's not staying there. It's not building right. up. It's, it's building. Policy has to be that we're building. I don't understand it. the need to build it. Well, maybe the, the 10. Um, I'll, I'll review they're that. Saying, yeah. they're saying, what they're saying is, yeah. what they're saying is you have an employee, he leaves. Yeah. And that employee, you're going to have to pay him for 20 years that he lives. Right. And they want to recognize that liability now. I know. Because they're saying oh. you incurred a liability to pay this employee. Right. But you don't have to pay it all. Exactly. Well, that's, and that's why I'm recommending adopting of a policy of 2% of free cash. If we have whatever the free cash is, we pay that 2%, in this case, 36486 It's woefully inadequate. There's no question. But that way, we have a policy, I don't agree. and we're not, it's not impacting us in such a giant amount that, um, that, that we're impacting our current operations for the future. But no one, you know, we have to do more than nothing. And, and Bruce, what you're saying, I, I think it's a great idea to shift over current because that does allow us. But that's all we have. That's the only liability we have. Anybody that retires, we assume their liability the year they retire and we pay it annually until they die. But it's such a giant amount. I mean, this is really embarrassing. Is. This, yeah, is, is, this is so embarrassing that we can't get this across. I mean, you're supposed to be guiding us. and We're supposed the, to be guiding you? Yes. You're, you're, as the finance committee, you're supposed to be recommending things to us. That would help us financially. That would help For us the financially. the policy of, and, on and OPED, you're saying that we should recommend a policy to you. You should, yes, you should educate yourself, do research, and find out, give if us some suggestions. If I can get over the point that we don't fund it every year, if I can find somewhere in here that we've... I got all kinds of stuff for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Including I, the Pioneer Institute but study, the, suggestion, the most conservative think tank in yeah. the state that is hair on fire about how we are in big trouble in, in the state and in our cities and towns for not funding this. And I'm happy to share that. Well, I can understand. But that's because they don't want to fund anything else. But I can understand <laughs> if we get to a point where we can't fund it. That's where the issue is. It's not that we're not yeah, funding if, if you, it on a yearly basis. But if you wait till you can't fund it, then you're in big trouble. Potentially. It's too late. But the, the, we're the always going to fund it. The real issue be a here limit. is no one else is funding it either, and in fact, oh, that's, that's not true. true. That's or, not true. Ask Conway if, what they funded. You know. well, good for Conway. Then we won't have to worry about it. They'll fund ours too. Uh, the state is woefully unfunded in their OPEB, well, <clears throat> and a lot of these cities and towns have elected not to do much for OPEB funding. In that, if the state is so far in the hole. Why should one town, whether it's Deerfield or one of the eastern towns in the state, step up and fund it, and then the state says, well, we're going to raise taxes someplace, and we're going to you know, help out the state and the cities and towns with OPEB funding. And, oh, by the way, since you don't owe anything, forget it. That's but, part of the reason that other towns no, are but not other towns funding. Are funding. Uh, well, the other towns are funding. We are really not funding it at 2% of free cash. This is not actually really funding it. This is a token. I, I appreciate that. I did vote for that. I was the one, one person that voted for the 25,000. So. But, but I have to say <laughs> the suggestion in the workshop to Trevor and I was that 
you go to your auditor and you have your auditor write it in the management letter so that the finance committee is aware of this obligation. And it, I mean, it's just kind of embarrassing, that's all. It is the management It is. But I mean, because, sort of, yeah. no, how, but it will be this year is a mandatory. Ability? What? How will it affect our it, borrowing? It, tremendous impact. Under this new GABS B75, we haven't been under this this is, will be the first year that we will be getting a management lender under GABS P75, and that's where this sort of mediocre mention becomes, like you not are living up to this, and you have this huge unfunded mandate, and this will impact any money that you borrow. But Why it will change if we, we already, we, we, we already know what it says. We know it. Yeah, we know we, it. We, We've we know gotten it. the preliminary and, and one. I, I would agree to this extent. I would like to have those people in to explain I've said this before, uh, OPEB funding, and I want to know how they make the calculations. Well, we I did thought they did that. We did that. We, we did not do that. They never told us how they make the calculations. I don't I think, think they we would have been here for weeks if they had told us how they <laughs> made those calculations. What's that? <laughs> we would have been here for weeks if they yeah. had told us how they made those calculations. Kind of because this is a f very fiscally conservative, prudent thing to do, and <coughs> yeah, we're the I, ones that are saying, okay. Don't. So you're asking the for finance, today. Give us raises. You're asking the finance community to come up with a policy. And that's what, no, that's no, what the funding no, policy. No, we're proposing one for you to consider. No. Because you because haven't. Because we're the finance committee. We're responsible to make recommendations to the town for financial policy. Right. And that's why. And, okay. So we'll, we'll, make, we'll discuss having um, the number three, a funding policy. Yeah. Okay. You're going to address item two in the next yeah. town meeting. And maybe if we can get a funding policy I don't together, think we, need to go to Tammy. we can make a no. recommendation. We've already been to Tammy. We don't need to do that. The, the, the number four approves, approves the, the trust the agreement or whatever. That the board does. So yeah. Yeah. The funding policy is the last thing we need to do. Yeah. Yes. Right. Right. We don't have that. And I would like to have it before this summer because we're going to have him come in okay. and do the um, gas before. But we, that would mean we'd have to so pass it. Is it a town meeting vote? I don't think so. It's just a, a policy. Yeah. We just right. have to decide what we want to do. And we have to I say, think, uh, agree that that's what we're going to so do. Long, so long as we're not, exactly. we don't lock ourselves into something that we can't. Right. But that's, that's why of policy, all the options, rule, the, the, the percentage <laughs> of free cash seemed to be good because if you had a bad year and you had no free cash, there is no contribution. So this year, what is our, with our free cash? With our no. free, with our free cash it's this year, it's 36486 That's 2% of 909 A million eight. eight. Million eight. eight. Yeah. 38, 36, yeah. I struggle with that because I think we carry too much free cash. I do too. Mm -hmm. Well, well I mean, we, we, yeah. I know, we go back and forth, but. So, I mean, I'm you know, not sure we've been through down, we've been through down either. cycles, we've been through down cycles. It's just less. Like 2008, <laughs> 2009, where we had no, almost no free cash. So, so it, maybe that's so not a bad idea. The and when we need something, yeah. you bring it to the town floor. Yeah, people, people can actually, they can well, finally distinguish between wants and needs. Part of the reason we have so much free cash is we left 600000 on the table at the end of the yeah. year. Right. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And, and so this is a perfect opportunity to use some of that free cash to start funding the OPEP. Are you, are you suggesting significant I, if, if it were me, I'd suggest 250 to 300,000 for see, starters. Reduce some of the free cash to reduce the tax rate instead of OPED funding. Mary, That's what is the retirement idea. board? What's their um, funding policy? They ha they're required. Hmm? Yeah. The retirement board. Um, if you don't know, that's okay to me. I, I don't know off the, the percentage off the top of my head, but I know they, they put in yeah. a percentage and every they're year. They're it's, required over, it's over 20% for yeah. the town this year. For the year. town, yes. And that's, 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 that's going just, to fund an unfunded liability. Right. But it's, well, it's, that's OPEB really is only health thing. insurance. No, right. no, no well, it's, it's retirement. For us it is, because right. we're in a retirement system. Right. But... No, you're right. It's just health insurance. Right. Well, health insurance for us, it's also group life insurance if you have a little bit well, of that, which is basically five thousand dollars a year. Yes. I mean, five thousand forever. But we're forever. putting four hundred and thirty seven thousand, if I read this correctly, uh, into the unfunded uh, pension liability. And it's continued to go up at a 
substantial rate. It should rate. be funded in like 33 or 32. But that's what they said when they yeah, first 15 started. Yeah, 34. 34, 34 I think, I think it's the date. Yeah. Yeah. I know. And by then, you're not getting the percentage in, of, of a return that you anticipated. Mm -hmm. So you, you keep moving the goalposts, and it's going to keep moving. It's not so. Really so the way to lower the OPEB <coughs> is to uh, cut the percentage of the uh, of the reimbursement that we pay for insurance. Yes. I think you're by law we're required to pay 50 percent. Isn't that correct, Mary? Yes. I think so. It is, or just not offer it. Yeah, right. Oh, you have to. Yeah. Are you talking about retirement? No. Yeah. Retirement yeah. health and Okay. I, I, okay. So, uh, you know, uh, we're setting up a policy. We don't have to. Yeah. We say a percentage of the free cash. Well, if you don't have that much free cash, you don't put that much percentage in. Just, I think we need to. Well, we don't do that with. Oh, oh, okay. Actually, actually, Barbara, Barbara just made a really good point, and I had forgotten about that. It was, it's. I, I was just so intent that at least we have discussion tonight, but it's 2% or a minimum of, and, and we can set the minimum at 10,000 or whatever, but. The idea is that we are saving something, something every year, every year. Our policy, and however, yeah. however much it is and however we go about it doesn't matter, but the fact that we put something and away. Thank you for year. reminding me. So you guys accept 25,000 this year? I, I threw out arbitrarily 25,000. But well, uh, but that was I mean. before but that, that, but that was before I went to the MMA conference and they and and realized that you had to have a policy. You can't just arbitrarily say how much you're going to do every year. It's not they don't want that. But they, why is it one percent better than two percent or two percent better than three percent? Who is they that don't want? Just going to be the, I mean, the well the, we, the presenter people. the presenters were um, you know state um, DOR people and. You know, you're just uh, suggesting the only the only thing it really affects is that bond rating. That's right? a big issue if we're going to be buying. And, well, and our audited <laughs> financial statements. And by not yeah, but that's what the bond <coughs> people are looking at. Right. Right. True. But we can, There's we can no actually, finding. We could limit that number that we you know don't agree on, but it, the the way to limit it is by those three things. Yes. That's okay. our, I think so that's what we need to do. It's pretty much play the game. You yep. know. That's all. I agree. Just, and and that's why I don't want, I, I really don't want to get into the argument of how much the, is unfunded, or how big, yeah. how big is that unfunded, because you know what? It is a moving target, and it changes all the time, as like you said. So instead of freaking out and anymore, I'm not freaking out. It's not two or three million dollars. It's just, I know it's over a million. It's somewhere along the lines, and we just need a policy that's reasonable, that doesn't impact us so much that that we can't continue at least level services. So part, part of the policies should include the fact that we will get to the point 2034 when we're no longer paying a half a million dollars a year mm -hmm. to fund the unfunded pension liability. So a small amount now with, with the idea that in 2034 that. Mm -hmm. that we could take a larger amount. That's absolutely right. But we just need to make that kind of statement yep. that until we get to that point of mm -hmm. two, 2033 or 30, 34, this is what we're going to do, mm -hmm. and then we will reevaluate or something. It mm -hmm. all it needs to do policy. is be something does, that... In my examples, there's something that refers yeah. to that. Yeah. But whether, whether it's the personnel committee or a separate committee that is looking at insurance, I would like to look at all of the insurance type of options. Oh, and I'm not suggesting that we need to cut the, our contribution from 65 to 50 or raise it from 65 to 75. I, so let's take a look at it and see where we're going forward here. We, it, it's examined. Um, you're not mentioning anything that isn't already scrutinized, um, especially this year with, mm -hmm. with laser focus. So. Because that's what's driving the unfunded mm -hmm. of course. policy is what we're paying out for insurance now. Yeah. And, and, and who's covered? And the biggest one are, are those employees who are fortunate enough at, at a relatively young age mm -hmm. to, retire. to retire. And, you know, by young age, I'm talking about in their 50s. That's true. And, and then they're... And we they're, cover spouses and... Well, they're, they're on, you know, they may have a family plan. Mm -hmm. 
we're paying, they're paying, and we're both paying 50%. But 50% of the supplemental insurance policy is a lot less than 50% of a family plan. $346 compared to a yeah. possibly $2,000. Yes. So seventy six dollars a month. It's it's well two thirds of our obligation is school related, and again we can break that out, and and it, there's a tendency that those employees uh, retire a little bit earlier. So I, I'm just saying that it's out there. We need to be able to have some kind of policy, and I I just. We really need to work together to come up with some consensus. I, I don't have a problem with that. Okay, thank you. I don't know what anybody else has a problem. I think I heard no, everybody basically I think it's saying fine. The policy is fine. I just don't think necessarily want to jump on any particular policy at the moment. Maybe oh no, that's fine. I just wanted, I wanted when Barbara was here, mm -hmm. that we could just discuss <laughs> it, and it, and mm -hmm. I, I just had that workshop, and it is something that's been bugging me for a couple of years. And every time we go to the conference, I go to a workshop and I get beat on again and, and get depressed. And this year, the Gatsby 75 does change how it affects us now. It really does affect the, our letter, management letter. So whereas before it was sort of optional or gray. It used, to, it used to reside mm -hmm. in the notes of our, our financials, and now it's on the so we, we started here tonight at 5.30, and it's now two hours and 20 minutes into, which is, means we're at least 20 minutes beyond where we ought to be. Uh, can so I, unless there's something else we absolutely have to do. Can I just uh, go over the Selectman's initiative? This is just preliminary, but this is stuff that we've been talking about. I don't know if this is a good time. Should this and go to the <laughs> Capital Improvement Committee first? Um, actually, because we don't have what enough. What are we uh, Most of these are not that, capital. In the of it here. Well, well, with OPED, I'd just like to <clears throat> we have a discussion on our next meeting. Have it on our agenda. Yes. Yes. Oh, so we're just going to defer okay. it to the next meeting. OPED? Yeah. Yeah. Could you, okay. hear, could you yeah. just stay for two seconds? <laughs> <laughs> um, so this, seriously, I would be two minutes. But um, the reason why I wanted to bring this up, because this plays into our, our free cash and what um, we need to do. Um, we can go over these real quick. A lot of these are going to be CPA kind of related, I think. Um, the emergency preparedness, um, which is the, the uh, municipal vulnerability preparedness match, we're, we're switching over. Or it's, it's just in the realization that how we've been collecting for damages from storm events um, has been recovery focused. So in other words, we've been working with Natural Resource and Conservation Service. You know, they count my time at $15. They count uh, if Wendy's participating at her salary, stuff like that. <clears throat> so the match has been, uh, or Kevin's salary and our highway guys, they're very generous. So our match, the town has not actually had to come up with much money to match those events. However, that is, it seems to be those programs are going to be cut in, the, in a budget um, you know, for upcoming budget season. So if the federal budget goes, actually has a budget rather continuing resolution. So the state is recognizing that and is doing this MVP program. We're hoping to be one of the first certified in the state. So it's focused on preparedness. In other words, you, you, re, you fix culverts and stuff like this. So I'm hoping the 50,000 would be our, um, leveraging of you know maybe at least a million dollars anyway so that's something that's in the grant application that requires a match and no a this is just if we're if if we're going to do something um say we, we would like to work with the state to replace the culvert in front of richardson's which was our top priority we need to clean out um all the silted in areas um be, beside uh between whopping road and five and ten and, and 5 and 10 in Mill Village. This would help us work with them and it would cover the replacement of a, say, open bottom culvert, part of a cost. I'm hoping that most of it would be covered by the grant, but um, obviously this would, we wouldn't expend the money unless we had a grant. But it's, it's, a pre, it's to preload. So these are not set-asides? No, no, no. I mean, this would be uh, $50,000 
appropriate at a town meeting if it's not spent, it goes back to free cash? Absolutely. And if we don't have a grant, then it will just go back. But the idea is that we are proving. So who's, who's going to have control of the funds? Um, well, the select board as, as signees on grants. But we obviously, if, if um, there's no grant, we wouldn't, we wouldn't spend the money. It's, it's showing the state that we are interested in the, this fiscal resiliency, this change from recovery to preparedness. So we are, we're showing them that we are committed. We're showing them as long as we apply. Yes. But if, if we don't apply, we're not showing them. Right, if we don't apply, but I intend to apply to any grants that we can get. Are there any grants that you know will happen next year? Um, well, we're hoping to be the first in the state certified, so we're hoping to be at the head of the line for, for this new fiscal resiliency program. So they have grants coming up. Well, it depends if the new bond bill is approved. Okay, a lot of ifs. I understand. Okay. Yeah, it has, the bond bill has to be approved. Right. And then the bond, the governor has to release the money. But it seems like the governor, governor is committed so to it. So there's really no specific reason why it's 15, not 100,000. Right. Well, I, I wanted to do as low as possible, but look but, like but we're serious. But there is no number. No. Basis no. for any number. No. Okay. Well, the project at least is a million five. So but that doesn't mean 50,000 has no relationship. No. Okay. No. I mean, it's just showing good faith. Um, the tree trimming, actually, John, uh, when we did an inventory for the capital improvement, this came out of um, we haven't been upkeeping the trees um, at the cemetery, so this is to um, a one-time deal, and I think we can do this under CPA money. Yeah. The, the select board has had complaints every single year. Uh, um, just in case there's any questions. Um, the... the um, we always have sidewalk complaints. So we voted as a select board to do Elm Street. This is just a preliminary amount um, from Kevin, and we're hoping to have a more definitive number. Preliminary amount for what? To replace the sidewalks from, like, by Jerry's, wrapped around Jerry's, out to... Um, so this includes design and uh, construction. As well as the curb, right? You were yeah. Talking well, we're going to yes. take, taking the granite curb and replacing it. No, I realize that, but there, should we have, I don't know, four hundred fifty thousand just for the? Does it need to go to CIPC? Yeah. Um, well, we're hoping to do complete streets. Um, that's so. That's a grant. We're hoping that it won't even be town money eventually, but we might have to have some. Um, we might have to have some match. I'm not sure what the, it is. Um, the next one is a circulating pump. It should say circulating pump yeah, sorry. for the, that's <laughs> all right. She was read. going off my notes. Um, circulating pump for the fountain on the common. Um, it was my understanding that DEP is making the water district shut it down, but we're gonna investigate more. The idea is to have some kind of circulating pump there so we don't have you know, a dead fountain on the common. Well, we'll still have evaporation. Well, as long as we can figure, if the DEP is gonna restrict the water usage I don't, I don't really, we don't know. Not. It's, so it's just a follow Roger fallacy? Roger just said, well, we're supposed to be conserving water, is what he said to me. I don't know. And what more they're... pressure to conserve so water. Cover it over so it doesn't evaporate. Right. Well, <laughs> anyway. What is, right now it goes in the town sewer. Is that, is that correct? Roger. Water goes in the fountain, <laughs> then it's discharged to the town sewer. Yes, as far as I know. It's, I yes. assume, I assume it's evaporation. Well, there is some evaporation. Well, then, but there's a level in there, and you know, when it drops, the water turns on, it comes on, and when it gets up there, it shuts off again. Anyway, we're looking into it. We're looking at, we're, so we're this, is, this is just, I wanted you all to know about this stuff because we have been talking about it. Um, organizing, we're organizing up and down the valley to apply for a grant to do charging stations, and I'm hoping to have one um, on the Leary lot facing the common, then um, um, hopefully we can work with whoever purchases the um, Cumberland Farms, the old Cumberland Farms, um, and face the common this way. And then um, the area by the train tracks and leaders lumbers that is really not very attractive. We want to make that more attractive. And the charging stations would be um, 
paid for, the installation would be paid for under the grant, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. it would be like a small revenue stream, like a parking ticket kind of thing. But the money here is for to do a little bit of landscaping, so it you know to make it attractive. Um, the steeple repair would be um, CPA money. This I'm assuming that we'll be sorting out when the church comes. Um, we we haven't still got a date for the probate court, but we're hoping soon and. I, I think there's no question that CPA money w for historical res uh, renovation would be legitimate on the, st on the steeple. Can, speaking of that, can we put a bug in Lisa's ear to get that moving? Why do we want to get it moving? Well, we... Because we well, want the, the property in the name of the town. Well, so we're, we can pay we're, we're, so we can just... It's, we're sorting it out. It's, we're sorting it every out. Every time they fill the oil tanks, the church fills the oil tanks. It seems to me the figure was eleven or twelve hundred bucks. They're going to stop doing it. So they own the property. So I mean, well, that's fine. You have to they, shut it, the water off. And if they, they're to, prepared to do that too. I've communicated with Jack just a, couple, a week or so ago, and <clears> he said he's they're waiting for the hit their attorneys, the church attorneys, to schedule a date in the probate court in Franklin County. And well, then we'll, we'll can sort we it get out. Lisa to contact their attorney and put some pressure on him? Jack's told me that the church attorney is basically not quite washed his hands, but it's like he's got other bigger fish to it's, fry. So is that really true? Well, you know. well, we'll yes. <laughs> well, we're trying to we're trying to get a date, and then we'll move forward. Um, this economic development planner, um, this is a, a part-time person. I think that would pay for themselves. Um, this would be to help generate more. Um, Actually, everybody says that. Well, it's I mean, all this, paid for by well, grant. Well, the thing is, we've lost um, Dick as our primary contact for a lot of. Uh, I'm not disputing the, the yeah. need for the position, yeah, but they're not going to pay for themselves. <clears throat> You're not going to get thirty-five thousand dollars a year. You don't think we'd we'd have new business growth? Um, have we had? I don't know how much land is available for business growth. I think we could save legal fees by having an in-house person to work with our land, our planning. As long as he has professional liability probably, insurance. Probably save on some of the costs with FERCOG right, right now. With, with no, I, I agree that there's a need, but I just don't know if we it's going to pay for something. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're talking 35000 plus benefits, <coughs> plus OPED, plus insurance. You well, know, this person would not only work part time, so they wouldn't have. No, well, you got to have a twenty. Nobody's going to come and work for no benefits. Actually, not a part time person. A, it's interesting because there was just a discussion on the <laughs> listserv today. A number of communities are looking to fund these positions now. None of them are right around here at this moment, but it was a funny discussion. They said, well, we're looking if you want to share with Hanson, which is, what, three hours away? They're looking to have yeah. somebody as well. well Orange anyway, had, a, Kip, Orange Kip, had a person, a full-time planner, right. and they're no longer there after three years. That's Orange. Um, well, Did a lot of things. It was Kip's idea, and I thought it was a good idea, so we put it down. Um, the design plan for um, Bloody Brook, the library, the community center, and senior housing. I, one of the, this is for a landscape design person, and the idea is to pull the three properties together. Um, we'll be cleaning out, hopefully, Bloody Brook through the Mosquito District, and I wanted a better crossing to the elementary school so that we could, um, you know, practice getting the kids over here quickly. Um, if we had a trained railman or active shooter or something like that, and Trevor was really intent um, and excited about having like a walking path for seniors around here and benches set out, stuff like that. And one of the um, things that turned up at the MMA conference, we um, talked to the people in Marlboro and um, they are putting um, thermal pump things under a big parking lot for their library expansion program. So it made sense to think about designing in a parking lot that would service those three buildings and um, actually heat and cool like this building, the senior housing when it gets built, um, the community center and the library. I mean, it made sense um, and it was really exciting actually. So, um, it, but we have to have someone that will help us design that kind of flow into the, this whole area now that we're gonna own it. Is so, that the $9,000 or there's no fee for that? That's no, the nine nine thousand. Yes, yeah, nine thousand. It's a two. 
Okay. It's just someone in mind. <laughs> yeah, I, I yes. it says first installment. Senior, well, Sarah, it's, it's, it's because I don't know how complicated. I, I have someone in mind that would help with the flow and where the parking lot should go, but I'm not sure how complicated a design is for like that thermal pump idea. Has it been concluded that the church yeah. is going to be the senior center? Uh, the community center? Well, we, we voted to accept it, yes. Is a fee, has, was there a fee? Is there a need to, or was there a feasibility study done? No. No. Um, Is there one needed? Yes. 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 The next, the next item is the design and architect for the community center. That's what it is. And, and the reason why, um, I mean, there seems to be some, there is some discretion or discrepancy of, or dis, dissent, disagreement. yeah, disagreement um, in the select board whether it's needful or not. But I have to say, we need to have someone guide us onto what we're going to do with the community center. And, and the reason I say it's first installment, because hopefully that we can keep that person on board to work with us on senior housing or whatever. But I think we need um, to do something. I think you have to go through design and selection, and you can allow them to continue on that specific project, but you won't be able to allow them to continue on a new project. Well, I, I so wanted... So if, if you're going to hire an architect to look at feasibility of the senior center and, and looks at some options, that's fine. But they're not going to be able to look at, you know, parking lot design or anything like that without going through. So you think it should? Well, the idea was to have somebody help us, and and we needed to have some money. I for think that. it needs very be specific tasks, and okay. you need to go through design and selection. You need a design and selection committee, and um, that whole process needs to be followed. It's a CIPC item, right? Design more than should be more than. What's the minimum? Ten thousand now? Mm -hmm. I thought you were thinking that would come from CPA. Yeah, I was hoping that would come C from. It's still yeah. CIPC well, approval, even we, if it's CPA money. It, if it's ten thousand. Well, okay. what we can do is um, submit an application, if that's. But I just wanted to bring it up as what we were talking about. I know it says FY19. I'm not sure how what we're talking about. I guess Are these potential expenditures or just thought processes. Well, these are things that we talked about that we wanted to do, and that they, these would be separate. And we as a selectman. Yes, okay. and these would be s submitted as separate um, warrant articles for the town meeting to decide whether to do or not. For the town meeting in April. In April. So let so me ask you a question, oh. and here it comes. You guys put out a memorandum to every department head in town saying, "Yeah." This is the procedure you need to go through, and you need to have your budgets in by. And now here it is, February 1st. Carolyn, you know, you just. This is why yourself, I'm bringing it up, and I didn't want you to go ahead. I didn't want, I want, we have been talking about this for a long time. We've been talking since we the started. Budgets in by a specific date. Yeah. When January was. Well, December 1st was the date for. Capital, capital items. If you're talking about doing this a year from now, Fine. then I applaud you for being so, that so far So we should accept advance. the church and just not do anything for a whole year. Say it again. So we should, when the church comes to us, you anticipate us just. No, I think we do need, and I think that was an oversight from last year, and that you know we should have had uh, funds in there to do a feasibility study. I, I'm just saying that it's important to have us communicate, and this was a way for mm -hmm. us to communicate what we have been talking about on the select board level and submit to you what we have anticipated for expenses. And that's why I wanted to go over it, because yeah, there, there I, I, are... That, it's fine. I don't, yeah. I don't object. I, it's the timing. Time I is no so well, instead of 2019, why don't we say the next few years? Because you you're going to need hard estimates to go to town meeting floor. I know, and I'm hoping to have these estimates sorted out in can the we next prior, couple weeks. Can we prioritize some of this stuff? Absolutely. This is just for discussion. Okay. This okay. is what we okay. want. This is what I put it down on paper so that we would have the ability to have discussion and communicate. And this was a formal submission now in the sense that I, 
it's in Brenda's well, that's, format. That was my concern. It's in Brenda's format. Whereas if if we keep talking about it, we have no f mm -hmm. you have no idea what's so we, going on. So we'll vote on each individual item. I'm not asking you to vote at all. I just wanted to, this is to well, inform you. If it's in eventually. the eventually. 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 line item now, it's, uh, eventually. Yes, well, eventually, right. I realize you were not asking for this special tonight. article. No, no. This is just to let you know that this is what we're talking about. We're, we're, and um, and the RFP for the sewer um, thing will go out soon. It went out today. Okay. Well, today out. was the notice to invite consultants in that we to just do a presentation. Then That's the auger monster? Yeah. No, well, no, 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 no. This is to actually do what? Do a whole assessment. And yeah, and it. see what we're, so, so the auger, is, I'm putting the auger monster on here, or the money. channel clearer. Because Kip has been talking about this for months. And that would be a temporary fix. And it's a temporary fix. It doesn't remove anything from the sludge. It's still, but it does um, chop everything up so it doesn't get wrapped around. I, I'm and not. this is being paid for out of sewer user's fees. Sewer user's fees, At right. this point. So it would be temporary. Then we can move it up to Old Deerfield or we could sell no, it or whatever. But we might not actually do it because it is such a temporary fix. But it really depends on what the RFP comes back at. So, but the idea is that we need to do something. Making no decision is is a decision. So, throwing it out there. Um, the tick testing. I'm trying to. Um, it's fifteen hundred dollars. If right now, if you send your tick in to be tested for Lyme disease and your associated um, other bacterial infections, it's around two hundred dollars. So, I'm trying to work out a deal with Dr. Rich that we can participate as a community and we'll get 100 tests um, and we pay $15 as a town, the person spends $15 as a per instead of 200 and that way we have da data because we don't have any real data. We don't have a lot of data from this past year or two years actually since we um, the grant for the initial tick testing was dropped. So this is a Board of Health kind of thing, but I, I just wanted that to be talked about. Um, the fund, there is a fund, 817. We haven't been able to determine um, what, what the use of that forestry fund is, but the first hoop that you jump through for any kind of grant on our town forest would be a forest management plan. So this is for a forest management plan. And, but it's a low priority. If we can't sort out, if we had that archiving already, um, Barbara would be able to, to locate where that funding this, the, is real easily. But, so we have a lot of research on that to be done yet. Um, and the other thing that wasn't, I have no pricing on, is that, that we were told um, at the MMA that this is a really good time to do our, buy our street lights and put LED lights on because there's all kinds of grant programs. But I have no dollar figure about that because I, it wasn't clear to me um, what the grant amount was per light pole and then you multiply that times each light pole that we are actually buying and so I, I didn't even have a number for that. This is the municipal um, rapid LED street light conversion program? Yes. Oh. Yeah. So that, yes, that's the one. Yeah. Um, it, it really supposedly is makes sense to do it now. It does. But I, well, then let's put it on. Do you, have, do you know how much it would be? No. Oh. I just read oh. the article. Oh, well, that's it. That's the one. Where, Thank you, Where did you find it? Where did yeah. you, yeah. I was sent, sent by our director at the Housing Authority. Um, do you, for, did for, they give you, did, did you, could you find out how much it is they give you per poll? Because I never got a clear answer on that. I can ask. What was the issue that came up at the select board meeting? About? Well, Kip, Kip thought that um, we were not, we, if the lights are going to still be on the pole, then we still have to pay rent. But my understanding of the program was that we bought, the, we ended up with the pole. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. So we could buy the pole and we could charge the electric company for renting the pole back? I don't know. 
Thank you, by eminent donor. I'm only trying to, uh, you know, know, lower that. our operating costs no, no, and try no. to I, be proactive. I, by the way, I, I think it's I think converting our lights from whatever they are yep, now I to agree. to LED makes a lot of sense. sense. Well, the, it, what's wonderful is the um, these kind of lights now can be converted over, <coughs> which before we couldn't really. So mm -hmm. we're going to save a lot of money once we do this. So that's really exciting, which is what we're going to do. Okay. We're, okay. So thank uh, you. Thank you. I, just, I just wanted you to know this is what we've been talking about for months. Yeah. It's a preliminary. I'm glad to know what the selectmen have been doing for months. months. I couldn't oh, resist saying that. <laughs> well, if I could just no. ask one question. Absolutely. I'm so surprised that with this list, um, I didn't see Mosquito Control District. Um, well, I'm just it's sorry. Be I'm not opening up the conversation. You certainly are. <laughs> but I'm wondering why it's not listed as one of your priorities. It must cost us something to be It's part probably of. in there someplace um, well, else, isn't it's, it? it's the 11000 is going to be <coughs> part of the Board of Health. I saw that, 11000 Yeah, that's just going to be our fee. That's but, it? Okay. But it's probably going to be banked towards um, actually some of the clean-out so efforts. So it's going to be a stabilization? Because, because we got a $150,000 grant. Um, to do the district, so um, I'll, you know. But as long as it, there's no cost other than eleven thousand, that's what we're looking at. Yeah, right. That's going to be okay. more than. That'd be a stabilization fee. Uh, a what? Stabilization yes. fee. Yeah. Uh, account. And you want to need to set up. You're going to put that in the stabilization? Or oh no, no. The eleven thousand goes into the mosquito district trust. Like we've had the past three years. Yeah. Well, no. we've hired no. a contractor for t the two years. Yeah. This is, we've moved into no. the second phase now where the district will The hire. district is a happening thing. Okay. And we're about to well, I thought there was going to be costs elected. associated with it. That was all. They haven't, it has yet to be figured out what those are, but. Okay, good. Thank you. We have the grant to ameliorate some of those costs at least the first year. The, 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 right the idea is that I wanted us to have, um, just choice. keep a consistent our 11,000, but We'll be using it, banking it towards menu choices, which would be like the cleanup. Well, that's what form. I asked. Yeah. Is the, you're going to bank the money. You're not going to spend it. It's not going to come back to the general fund as a free no, cash. No, it goes into the trust that goes right. into the mosquito. So we need an explanation of that one. Yeah, and it's, it is dedicated to Deerfield's account. Well, oh, I, yeah. We just need to have yeah. what this $11,000 is that's for and where it's gonna, how it's going to end up, so. where it's going to be. Yeah. <clears throat> It, it will, and, and it will give which is part of the reason that actually. budget wasn't given to I know, you. I yeah. realize that, yeah. uh, but I see it on the list. Yeah. Okay, there's, I've got one other thing, and then if no one else has anything, I'll ask to adjourn. I had mentioned to uh, uh, Brenda yesterday that maybe we ought to look at putting the compensation plan onto that list for the financial things so that we look so that we ask the personnel committee to bring oh. the cap the you asked me to do that. Was you it asked you? Me to say, okay. I'm not, I'm not to do that. Oh, the I task thought, list I, that I we're thought not I, following I thought I, Oh, I thought I told the you, Senator Officer, what we do when we do it, maybe, put the compensation okay. plan on the personnel board okay. in that. That's what you were saying. Yes, so on, on that list of things that we have to do yeah, to, uh, on to facilitate oh, okay. the whole process. The, the oh, whole okay. process. Yeah. Get that done. Get that done early to the selectmen so that they can look at it. They can vote on it uh, before. Oh, any you of did any say yes. Okay, so right. for, for next right. year. Yeah, for next year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we talked about that. Yes. So we so have. If that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I'll do it right now. No, next year. Next year. <laughs> for next year. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second it. It's moved, seconded. All those uh, in favor? Next meeting? Oh, next meeting oh, yeah. first. Next Wednesday? Is that oh, at 6 30? We're, we're select boards meeting. Or do you want to do it next Tuesday? I, I don't. I, which, I, which I, I couldn't do it Tuesday. I could do it Monday or Thursday. Monday but planning has a big, we have a big planning board meeting that night. Marijuana is. How about meeting. Thursday? Okay, so Monday would work. Do you want to do it Thursday? Is it possible? Sure. Is care. everybody available Thursday? I'm not. Oh, well, I am not available six, on Thursday. Seven thirty on Wednesday. Make it. The select board like at six. Wednesday. You meet at seven thirty. Do you want to do six o'clock, seven thirty? We can. Board we can. Committee? We can meet at the select board. Can meet at six, and then if you want to meet at seven, do you want to do that? So I don't care. I, for Wednesday. It's, it's very helpful to sort of 
be kind of joint, not. Well, do we need, I mean, we can meet. No, 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 not, I mean, not formally joint, but just if there's no, any But questions. what I'm saying is if we're here, I don't have a problem. If, if, you know, I don't think that you need to entertain the finance committee at your meeting and we need to entertain. No, them. no, 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 no. Because it's a matter, most of these things are, are budget items that you've gone through. Yes. If there's a, and we've still got, we've still got a number of the. Uh, so, so next, you, you're going to meet next Wednesday then? Next yeah. Wednesday you at 6.30. There's still I'll a just, few things I'll, that I'll I need make to it, do with I'll them and they That'll be fine. won't be ready if you're meeting with the same time we're so meeting. So. Well, I'm just hoping that, that you guys it. have gone through yeah. the budgets by now. Most of them we have. Yeah. Well, so, there's a so there will be one. There's, there's a few um, things that are unknown that we're trying to figure yeah, out. Yeah, um, so. the ones that we had on hold right now is the planning board, the town office maintenance. But um, Brenda, transfer, Brenda can give us a list of what we can go through and we'll leave Transfer station expense them along. and um, board of health expense. Mm -hmm. Contractual services. And contractual. I mean, mm -hmm. those are the only so ones. Board meeting we, Wednesday the 7th at 6 30. That would be hey. good. When? Do we need to go over oh, oh, that's right. next Seven. Wednesday at 6 30? Yes. No, but that's right. 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 No, 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 right. no, 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 Okay. Um, well, maybe can we? Can All those in favor of the uh, 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 post, we are adjourned. Thank you.